Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is going to be some custom socks for Father's Day. Uh, the fun thing about these is I'm going to be adding the child's actual signature to the socks. I'm just going to use a design space image because it's going to be easier than creating something. So this is the one I'm going to use and I'm just going to change it to one, one color. But you know, feel free to mix and match your vinyl or you can use infusible ink or even sublimation if um, that's something that you have. I'm just going to do mine in vinyl. Um, this is really fun. This is something you could do for like coaches uh, at the end of the season. You can add all the children's name to the pair of socks. So many different things you could do with this idea. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my image. I do have it already in, but you'll just basically see that it's uh, in design space and it's titled, This is what a super dad looks like. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my canvas. And as you can see here on my uploads, this was my daughter's signature and this was my son's signature. If I go to view all and type in um, my daughter's name, you'll see here she had, we've done this uh, several times before, several times. This is such a great project. I actually made my husband one for Father's Day about five years ago and used the children's names. And he gets so many compliments on his hoodie whenever he wears it. I actually made my father-in-law one as well for Christmas and he is like in love with it. So this is a conversation starter, just something that lets people know some of the different things that you can do with your business. Okay, so going back to my uploads, I have my image in. I just changed it to all black as you can see here. You just can go through and change it to whatever color. Since this is going to be vinyl, I, you know, I can cut it in whatever color I want. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add some text. And it's going to just say, a son's first hero. And I'm going to change that to about 3.5 inches. And then I'm going to copy and then I'm just going to put love. Okay. And then I'm going to change that to 3.5 as well. Okay. Now I'm just going to select these two together, change it to 3.5, align center horizontally. And then I'm going to attach this together. I just asked the kids what they wanted to say to daddy. And they put, you know, basically this is what they wanted to say. Uh, if you do, do this for like a coach, a teacher, something like that, then you could put, you know, um, best teacher ever, something for teacher appreciation, um, just so many different things. But it's a fantastic, very cute custom idea for uh, pretty much anybody, mothers, fathers, grandparents, coaches, teachers, principals, you name it. So I'm going to go ahead now that I have everything set up exactly the, the way that I want it to cut. Just make sure that you attach your, um, your file 
and you attach the like message because if not it's going to be all jumbled when you get to your cut screen so i'm going to go to make it This is a place where you're just gonna double check everything. Um, you can double check that your mirror is on. If it's not, you can edit there and switch it on or off there, okay? And then uh, you wanna just check your settings and uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and get it cut and we'll get it pressed. Okay, so I have all of my transfers. I'm going to place my socks on the metal jig that I use. You can use like 110 pound cardstock. That's what I used before I bought these jigs. If you plan on doing them often, then I would just get um, the jigs because they, they offer a bit more stability. You'll be able to tell the back of the sock um, because of this. And then also it has the size on the back of the sock, okay? And I just slide it on there. You could do um, two socks on one or you could do one on each, up to you. Um, so I typically like to just make sure that they're both sorta in the middle, like that. And then the front of my sock here, I'm gonna add this to it. And then I'm gonna place it with some heat tape. This I got from Amazon. Um, Cricut also has a brand of heat tape that is also available. Okay. Um, but again, you can use any kind of socks. Um, plain socks typically is what I use. I use these also for sublimation, but everybody doesn't have sublimation. Um, but if you chose to do infusible ink, you can. Um, so I'm just basically matching them up to the one um, for the daughter. My daughter will go right here. And then the one my son did will go here. Okay. All right. Okay, have my socks on the press. I'm gonna stick a piece of uh, baker's paper on there, parchment paper. I have it at 325 for 25 seconds. I'm going to press it for a little bit longer. Okay, so now we're going to do the opposite side. I am going to add my baker sheet over it again. And I'm going to press for 25 seconds at 325. Okay, so here's how they came out. Um, when it stretches, 
Um, the reason why you want to make a jig or buy a jig is because when it stretches, you don't want the vinyl to tear off. So you're basically heating it at a larger, um, basically a larger size. And then when it shrinks back down, so that way, once somebody puts their foot in it, it's not going to like basically tear the vinyl off. Okay. So that is what the front looks like. And then this is the back with, um, the child's name or signature.